Okay, let's see how that one went. So it says Cheryl gets paid $8 per hour. So you should be thinking per, oh, I know that's going to be multiplication there, at her job at the record store. She made a total of $96 last week. So total, you might be thinking, oh, that's going to be the equal part there. Uh, write and solve an equation to show how many hours she worked last week. So what don't we know? We don't know how many hours she worked last week. So I'm going to call that H. H is the number of hours that she worked last week. And then I'm going to um, set up my, my equation here. So total, so that's equal to 96. I know that she got $96. I know that she worked eight hours, and for every, um, or I know that she got eight dollars for every hour she worked, so I'm going to take that eight and multiply it by the number of hours worked, and I'll get ninety-six dollars. So, of course, to solve this, since this is eight times h, so eight dollars for every hour worked for a total of ninety-six dollars, I'll divide both sides by eight to figure out what, how many um, hours I worked. And so 96 divided by 8, you can um, remember use your calculator if you want to, or this is a pretty simple math problem here, you could do that as well. And so we see that she worked 12 hours last week. Alrighty, let's look at the next one. A hot air balloon flew at 10 miles per hour. So what are you thinking when you see per? You're thinking, oh, we have to multiply somewhere there. Using the variable h, so here's h, Write and solve an equation to find out what? To find out how many hours the balloon traveled if it covered a distance of 70 miles. So if it covered, that sounds like that's going to be the total, 70 miles per hour, right? So here we go. Um, it tells us that we have to use H, and that's how many hours the balloon traveled. So hours traveled. All right, so let's set it up. What happens? We take 10 miles per hour and we're going to travel a total of 70 miles. So for every hour that we're in the air we're covering 10 miles and we'll cover a total of 70 miles. So we want to know how many hours then we were in the air. Now I know you can look at this and you know that the answer is 7, I know that, but practice showing those opposite operations on both sides of the equal sign that's gone, right? And H equals 7. So the balloon was in the air 7 hours, traveling at 10 miles per hour to cover a total distance of 70 miles. All right, last one. All of the students in Tim's class are divided into four teams. Ooh, divided. Ah, that's a good clue, right? Of six students. So that's how many students are in each team. That sounds like the equals, right? Write and solve an equation using the variable s to show the total number of students in Tim's class. So what's s? It's the total number of students in Tim's class. And what do we do with those students? We're going to take those students, we're going to divide them into four teams, and we're going to have six students in each team then. So again, using opposite operations, since we're dividing here, we're going to multiply both sides by 4, and these two cancel each other out. We're just left with S over here, and then 6 times 4 is 24. All right, guys, um, we'll get more practice with this, but this is um, writing expressions and equations using a word problem.